I am Larry Hatcher. This is Psych 302, Computer Applications in Data Analysis. And in this video, we're going to take a look at Jumovi Exercise 12001, ANOVA with one within factor input through interpretation. This exercise is divided into two parts. This week, you'll complete part one, which involves downloading the data set and performing the statistical analysis. Then next week, you'll complete part two, which involves completing the multiple choice quiz and uploading your Jamovi document. Let's see our investigation. Background sound and minutes of sleep. Imagine that you're investigating treatments for insomnia, the disorder in which people are unable to get enough sleep at night. In the current study, you wish to compare the effectiveness of different background sounds, that is, ambient sounds, in helping patients fall asleep and stay asleep. Current study included a sample of 14 adults diagnosed with insomnia. Throughout the investigation, the participants wore a cap containing electrodes on their head all night long. The electrodes monitored brain wave activity and accurately measured the number of minutes of sleep the participant got each night. The dependent variable in this study was therefore minutes of sleep or just minutes. Throughout the investigation, a device called a sound generator, that is a sound stream, was placed in the individual's bedroom so that different sounds could be produced all night long. The study's independent variable was background sound, and it consisted of three treatment conditions. The investigation lasted 90 days, and by the end of it, each participant had been exposed to all three treatment conditions. Specifically, for one 30-day period, the subject listened to the sound generator creating the sound of a window fan whirring all night long, and you determine the average minutes of sleep the participant achieved during that 30-day interval. We will call this the fan condition. During a different 30-day period, the same participant listened to the sound generator creating the sound of a babbling brook all night long. We'll call this the brook condition. And finally, during a different 30-day interval, the same subject attempted to sleep with the sound generator turning, turned off and not producing any sound at all. So we'll call this the none condition. Let's scroll down, we're at the top of page two. Data to be analyzed. Scores produced by the participants in this investigation are reproduced in this table, table 330.1. It says minutes of sleep per night obtained under the three types of background sound. Here we have the minutes of sleep obtained under the none condition, minutes of sleep obtained under the fan condition, and so forth. We can see that participant number one got 200 minutes of sleep under the none condition, 270 under the fan condition, 310 under the birth condition. The remaining scores can be interpreted in the same way. At the bottom of page two, I put this into black and white. Preceding table consists of 14 horizontal rows. Each row contains scores from a different participant. Values in the body of the table indicate average minutes of sleep that the participant displayed in the specific treatment condition. For example, values in the first row show that participant 1 displayed an average of 200 minutes of sleep during the none condition, 270 during the fan condition, 310 during the babbling Burke condition. Values in the remaining rows can be interpreted in the same way. We go to the top of page three. Our research hypothesis is as follows. Average minutes of sleep will be higher in the babbling brook condition than in the fan or none condition, and those in the fan condition will be higher than those in the none condition. And that is our description of the study. We're now ready to begin with exercise part one. Uh, begin work on task one, performing the analysis in Jamovi. You do not need to upload anything or complete any multiple choice quiz today. Uh, you'll do that next week when you complete task two and task three. You will have your hands full just completing task one, performing the analysis in Jamovi. Let's see what that involves. Um, follow the instructions provided in Lecture Notes, Chapter 120, ANOVA with one within subjects factor to perform the analysis. The data set that you'll open and analyze is named Sound Minutes, ANOVA, one within data. 
uh, you can download it from Canvas Modules. Once you've downloaded the data set and have opened up the Jamovi application uh, and opened the Jamo Jamovi data set within the Jamovi application, you can be begin doing your analyses. Request statistics and plots similar to those that appeared in the lecture notes section headed, requesting descriptive statistics and performing the ANOVA. Except, of course, you'll be analyzing different variables compared to what appears in the lecture notes. Yes, you will request all the plots and all the statistics that had been requested in Lecture Notes Chapter 120. This means that you'll be, use both the Jamovi Descriptives Procedure as well as the Jamovi Repeated Measures ANOVA Procedure. Uh, do add your name to the top of the Jamovi Results panel. We continue to page four. I'm toward the top of page four. And preview of some of the correct Jamovi results. If you perform your analysis correctly, the results you obtain should match the results provided below, except that it should be your name that appears below the results heading, and your Jamovi document should contain more tables and plots than are displayed below. For students in my 302 class, this is particularly important. Compare the statistics that you obtained against the statistics here in my preview section. And make sure that they match. For example, when you look at the descriptives table, did you get the same mean score that I obtained for the Nun condition and the Fan condition and the Brook condition? That's the kind of comparisons you should make. When you look at the results from the repeated measures ANOVA procedure, for example, did you get the same F statistic that I obtained? Did you get the same partial eta squared that I obtained? Those are the kinds of comparisons that you should make. Look at this. At the top of page five, I even show you what the post hoc test table should look like. Did you get the same mean difference that I got, the same T statistic for this first comparison? Uh, check your output carefully against mine. Make sure that the numbers match. That brings us to the end of exercise part one. Do be sure to save your Jamovi file that you've just created someplace where you can find it next week. You complete task two and task three, which appears below at our next class meeting. You do not need to upload anything or complete any multiple choice quiz today. You'll do that at the end of our next class meeting. So that will get you started with part one of Jamovi Exercise 12001 ANOVA with one within factor input through interpretation.